Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Quick Scopes. Today we have the Air Force One Turtle in medium olive coriander. I've never seen coriander as a colour. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to like, leave your thoughts, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Ah, yeah, purchase link for these and the crane forward slash milky stalk in the description stay tuned for the on foot so yeah let's start from the soles up so we have this very very light green sage-ish um, outsole we have what i assume is a photon dust midsole midsole stitch and nike air like this is not white the um, color is just slightly off and then to this upper, so we have a nice um, decent leather upper, tumbled leather, very, very cool. And I believe that this is that olive um, green, very nice. So if we start at the, um, at around the toe and the toe box, you can see that olive green there, very, very cool. Going up the shoe, we have a nice gold dubre. We've got some dark green laces. I'm not sure if this is the coriander or around the eye stay. Unfortunately, the laces are not to the thickness that I like, but you already know that. <laughs> but going up the shoe, as you can see, we have a sort of darkish green um, nylon tongue. And then if you take a look at the eyelets, all the eyelets are punched in, but around this eyelet at the top, we have some dark green stitching very very cool on the tongue tab we have the nike air on a leather patch sorry just the nike and the swoosh on a leather patch very nice nice premium touch as we go to the side of the shoe now as you can see on this lateral side we have a swoosh which is got that more olive color suede around the swoosh we have that metallic gold that metallic gold which you've recently seen on some LVA Air Forces is a very, very, very similar, similar sort of dull sheen to it, very nice. Um, the mid panel lever is the same as around the toe and on the foxing as well. And as you can see, we have the turtle on the um, foxing here. Very, very nice, nice detail, embroidered, stitched in, very, very good and that is not present on the medial side of the foxing. As we go to the heel of the shoe, you can see the Nike. This is nice, this is clean. You don't really see this often, just the Nike on the heel, and that's stitched in in that dark green, um, contrasting on the lighter green of the tab, which matches that swoosh. We go inside the shoe now, we've got dark green sock liner and the lighter green um, insole with a dark green Nike Air. Let me know what you think of this shoe. Me personally, I like them. I think they're decent. Not super duper. I think what would have taken these to the next level, I think maybe if the um, midsole was either darker or lighter so a white or maybe a um, dark green or something I'm, I'm just not sure about the photon dust here or whatever color it is i don't know it's like it's not dark enough not light enough but then again it is a welcome change because you don't usually get a midsole like that color and then up and upper like this so I'm a bit conflicted <laughs> to say the least, but what do you think? Me personally, I'll give this shoe a, I think a seven out of 10 is fair. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with that? I do like the um, heel embroidery that on the Fox in and the Nike Air as well. It does have nice details, but I just think they could have taken it one step further just a step further maybe if the eyelet up here was metal or something like that i'm not sure as i said it's nice but it could have been nicer but let me know what you think purchase link for these in the description stay tuned for the on foot also check out the review of the milky stalk forward slash crane as well 
Thank you so much for subscribing, supporting, sharing to your loved ones. It's always appreciated. So yeah, I've been Scopes, signing out. See ya!